I'm taking a look at what there is to see and do over in Calabona and Calamilor. So I'm starting my guide today on the far side of Calabona and as you can see it's looking absolutely gorgeous today. Now this is quite a peaceful resort but it doesn't mean to say that there isn't things to do here. So by far one of the best ways of getting around a Calabona is by renting these bikes, well these little bike cars. Now these shops are all over Calabona and Calamilor too and they're relatively cheap to hire. Now there is a great bike path that runs between the two resorts and joins the two resorts together. So biking is one of the main ways of getting around down here. Now the great thing about renting these safari bikes or these mountain bikes is that you can really explore this area of Mallorca and just stop off for drinks in one of these lovely bars. So you also have horse riding excursions up here with Rancho Willy. And you can see this is one of the waiting areas here. Now, if you are staying over in Calabona, there are lots of boat excursions that you can go on. You can see a ticket office right in front of me, and you can see a boat that's just come in now. So if you're looking for days out, you can see, you can take the Calarajada Express. Now, Calarajada is a German resort. It's more of a German resort, but it's a fantastic place to go out for the day. Now, of course, if you head on over to my website, I have plenty of boat excursions that you can book. So head on over to mallorcaunderthesun.com forward slash experiences to pick up your tickets for your boat trips over here in Cala Milor and Calabona. So as well as excursions, you can also book parasailing down here and you can see the parasailing boat is just heading out now. So if you need any other further help finding your way around this area, then there is a tourism information office and that's right next to the Cafe Tallahassee on the marina here in Calabona. You can also enjoy a great morning out at the Son Severa Market, which is just a 10 minute bus journey away from Calabona. Now to see what this market is like, check out the video that I made from here and I'll link to it right at the end of this video and I'll put a link in the description text below. So as you walk around Calabona Marina, make sure that you head towards the seafront because if you like life under the waves, then there is a great dive school which you need to go and check out. Okay, so we're just coming into Al Albatross Diving and hi Remjo, how are you doing? Hi, hello, I'm fine. If anyone watching just wants to try scuba diving, how do you do a try dive and how much does that cost? It's 99 euros a person and we could look those in the afternoon and it takes about three hours in total and then we initiate people in the world of diving. And tell me, um, what is the diving like over here in Calabona, Calamillor? It's quite nice, the visibility is usually really good. There's quite some fish around, there's many octopus around, barracudas, uh, murray eels, etc. Et so, it's lots to see. Wonderful, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now I'm down here on a busy Sunday afternoon and it is a late Sunday afternoon but I can see that one of the main activities down here in Calabona is to sit and have a few drinks and cocktails. Now over in the distance you can see the Sea Adventures glass bottom boat just coming up in towards Calabona. Now this is a great trip because it goes all along the coast, it stops for a swim as well and you get to see just some of the amazing blue seas and also life under the waves as well if you prefer to remain in a boat. Now if you feel like you cannot peel yourself away from the hotel, and many of the hotels down here actually have entertainment and I'm outside the Levante here and I can hear that they have a quiz going on. And if you're travelling with children, well, there are kids' parks in Calabona and Calamillor. Plus, outside the minis in Calamillor, you'll find air hockey, pool tables and merry-go-rounds too. So, coming further into Calabona, I can see that we have 
another another rent a bike and motorbike centre too so you can get your bikes your four wheel bikes and your motorbikes too to explore the area <laughs> I can just see another cruise as well coming back into Calabona. There are plenty of excursions here, so definitely worth getting out into the sea one day. Now, one of the most incredible activities that you can do over on this side of the island is to book a balloon ride. Now, I have these for sale as well on my website, which is done through Get Your Guide. So, I mean, this looks like an incredible experience. And you can watch the sunset as well while you are up high in the skies in your hot air balloon. Now, if you have done that trip, do let me know in comments below. I'd love to know how it went. Now, there are more rent-a-bike places here, and I can just see a price outside, actually. So I can see that from between nine and six, it costs just seven euros 50 for an hour. There is another professional diving centre too, just as we're leaving Calabona and heading into Calamilor. Now, I'm just coming into Calamilor, and you can see that I'm approaching the main pier here. Now, this will be the pick-up point for any for any boat cruises that you book. Now I'm just coming into what's looking like a very busy Cala Milor. Just a tip here guys, if you want to avoid the crowds over on Cala Milor main beach, then come onto these little beaches here. Now they are very seaweedy on entry, which really isn't a problem because it is just seaweed. But as you can see, these people have the entire beach to themselves. And in a few minutes, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be swimming in some of these really clear blue waters. So you have an empty beach here. And literally a 30 seconds walk away, you have a very busy beach. Also, these little bikes are a great way of getting around with all your beach stuff too. You can see people are carrying all their lilos and their inflatables. And if you like reading, then there's a lending library right down here at the end of Calamanor Beach. Also in the area you also have the Rafa Nadal Experience Museum over in Manacor so that makes another really cool day out. So it's not just bikes that you can rent down here, you can also book Segway tours and buggy tours too. And both of these are available on my website via Get Your Guide. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful as to what there is to do around Calabona and Calamilor. Now, there is an article already on my website with plenty of links as well for you to go ahead and book your tickets too. So do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I've got plenty more content coming out all about Mallorca as we go into the summer. Also, you can find me on the Facebook and on Instagram, also on Mallorca Under the Sun. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. Goodbye for now.